Okay, today we're gonna learn how to replace or fix a throttle spring. Okay, sometimes they break, like this one has. See, it's broken there. The, the little loop part has broken off of that side. And sometimes it's that these washers actually get worn through and then the, the spring pulls off. So uh, I'll show you how to fix this part. Okay, you need one of these um, needle nose pliers and you just pull on that and twist around. All right, you have to make another loop. All right, so, see that? Now we got another loop there, and you just have to hook it into the washer that's there. Simple as that, how long did that take? 20 seconds? That is literally how long it takes to fix a broken throttle spring. If these washers wear through, you notice I have two washers here, and they are bigger than necessary washers, okay. So on either side, this bolt here and that bolt there, they're this side of the bolt. There's a, that's an M6 bolt. What I do with the springs is I put an M8 washer. See, the washer is too big for this kind of bolt, all right? I do that intentionally so that the washer moves around instead of the spring itself moving around when the throttle is opened and closed. Because if the spring moves around, it wears away the spring and they break easier. But if the washer's moving around, it only wears out a washer. I'd rather wear out a washer than a spring. So that's why we use too big a washer on either side. So if you have to replace the washers, which sometimes happens, the spring actually wears a groove right through the washer and then pulls out. So if you have to replace a washer, use the washer that's a little bigger than the bolt. So that's how easy it is to replace or fix a throttle spring. I don't ever want to find another broken throttle spring on a cart on a Monday. All right.